Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to add Echo to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. Now to add an Echo effect, this will work in any of the games that you're working on. So I'm going to start a new one here with the village template. And once you have your game up, I'm going to go ahead and test this with a tool so you can hear it more clearly. And so let's go ahead and find a tool that makes a sound. And let's go ahead with this one. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the starter pack. So now that we have something that you can hear the different sound qualities with, let's go ahead and play the game so you can hear what it sounds like currently. So while I'm playing, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the sword that I have here. And you notice it made a certain kind of sound. And so that sound does not have any reverb to it or any echo. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to add echo to the entire game. And the way to do this is to actually go over to the Explorer. And you're going to have Explorer and Properties open. If you do not see those, go up to View and then make sure Explorer and Properties are open. So I'm in Explorer, and then I'm going to go down to Sound Service. So I'm at Sound Service, and I have that highlighted. Once you have that highlighted, you go down to the Properties tab, and you'll notice that the very first option is Ambient Reverb. And right now it says No Reverb. So basically that is telling uh, Roblox that you do not want any reverb to your game. So no echo to the sounds or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to uh, one of the settings they have here. And I'm going to try the concert hall one. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and test play the game. And so you can hear the difference between that sound uh, as it was from before. So here I am, and I'm going to go ahead and make the sound again. So you notice there's kind of like a delayed echo after the, the sound, the original sound. Another thing that you'll notice is that if I move into this uh, corridor here, that once I get into a house, the footsteps start to make an echo. So you notice that the footsteps started to make a slight echo. You can hear this even more with one of the ambient sounds. And so if you're uh, go ahead and stop the gameplay, go to sound service, ambient reverb, and then let's try the one that says sewer pipe. And so this one, well, you can definitely hear the difference with the uh, footsteps in the game. It makes more of like a metallic sound, uh, again, kind of like you would be in a pipe. So let's go ahead back into the room. And this will only work with the rooms that you're in. So once you're in a room, you'll notice that it's making that uh, echo sound with the footsteps. And again, so these uh, echo effects will work without the throughout the entire game. And you can go ahead and experiment with the different kinds. You would just select the ones that you like and then go ahead and uh, test play the game so you can see uh, what it sounds like. Um, there's one even here that's called generic reverb, and so that might be, be good for most settings. Uh, and then once you have your selection, then you can just, of course, save your game or publish your game to Roblox. And so when players play your game, it will have the echo effect added to it. And of course, if you want to eliminate the echo effect, again, you can just go down to the sound service and then go to the option that says no reverb. So you now know how to add an echo effect to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.